This uh, lesson will be on combining like terms and equivalent expressions. So before we jump in, you know, I want to I like to break down the vocabulary. So the very first word that we come across is combining. Combining in math essentially just means that you're going to be adding or subtracting. Another way to think about combining is a more appropriate way for algebra is adding positives or adding oops, negatives. Now, like terms, same variables Same number of variables and same exponents for each variable. Combining like terms essentially means that you're going to be adding positives or adding negatives uh, terms that have the same variables, the same number of variables, and the same exponent for each variable. Equivalent expressions are different ways to say the same thing. In other words, they're just equal statements. Okay? So now let's go ahead and take a look at the following problems here and see what we come up with. So number one, it says simplify the following expression. Two plus five times the group of four P minus eight. So I like to rewrite it first. Two plus five times the group of four P minus eight. Now, the first thing we wanna do is distribute. So I'm gonna distribute that positive five <coughs> times four P and positive five times negative eight. So that's going to be 20p and negative 40. And we bring down the 2 and the addition sign. Now, at this point, I need to combine like terms. Well, my like terms here are my constants. So we have positive 2, negative 40. When you combine those, you end up subtracting. And you keep the sign of the larger number. So our final answer is going to be 20p and negative 38. And for our, our like terms, in other words, this is our final answer here. All right, let's take a look at number two. Number two asks us to simplify three times the group of 5a plus 6. So once again, we're going to rewrite it. And then we can go ahead and start working. We're going to distribute. Whoop. We're going to distribute 3 times 5a and positive 3 times positive 6. It's going to give us 15a plus 18. And that's it. We can't combine this. These are not like terms. So that makes this our final answer. The main thing that we want to note is that um, these two here, this one and this one, basically different ways to say the same thing. Okay. Also, here, all three of these are equivalent. expressions okay. so that's another thing we want to remember there <clears throat> let's go on to number three number three says simplify the following algebraic expression so I want to go ahead and rewrite that first 20 times the group of negative one and a half y plus three fourths 
Okay. And um, I, I'm personally going to, I like to convert everything to fractions. So I, I had already said the fractions when, while reading it. So I'm just going to go ahead and convert them again. That's going to say 20 times negative 3 halves y plus 3 fourths. <clears throat> now, we're multiplying. I know, oh, excuse me, first we got to distribute. And distribute means that we're going to multiply the positive 20 times each term inside the parentheses. And when I do this, I know 20 goes into 2 10 times. So that's going to really be 10 times negative 3, which is going to give me negative 30. Why? And when I do positive 20 times 3 fourths, I know that 20 goes, 4 goes into 20 5 times, and 5 times 3 is 15. So that's going to give us positive 15. All right, we can't combine those, so that's going to make this our final answer. And we can also say that all three of these things here are equivalent expressions. All right, let's take a look at number four. Number four asks us to simplify that expression written there. So I'm gonna rewrite it. 2y plus x plus y. When we here, we don't, you, you can think about this as distributing a, a positive one right here. But another way to think about it, so once again, you can you can distribute that positive one to each term, or you can think about it as just getting rid of the parentheses. It's a positive sign on the outside. Positive means basically keep everything the same, so you could really just drop the parentheses. But even when you distribute, one times x is x, one times y is y, so you still really end up with 2y plus x plus y. Both of these have their invisible ones there. We have our like terms, 2y, 1y. And when we combine those, we'll have our final answer, 1x plus 3y. And that would be our final answer. We could also uh, write that final answer um, differently. We could write it as 3y plus 1x. That's one way to write it. We know that all of these are, once again, equivalent expressions. Equivalent expressions All right um, let's go back and revisit this final answer for number three real quick that final answer could also been written as 15 minus 30y okay and the final answer for number two could have been written as 18 plus 15a all right. Uh, the final answer for number one could have been also written as negative 38 plus 20p. All right. So those are also equivalent expressions. And, and the main thing about keeping expressions equivalent is making sure that the signs of the terms are still the same. This negative 38 is the same negative 38 here, and that positive 20p is the same positive 20p there. Okay, especially when you have um, negative and positive signs. Let's go ahead and do this last one, number so five. Number five, we have five times the group of four n minus 12 minus the group of six minus n. So, you know, first, we always wanna start off by rewriting it. 
rewriting the expression and as I do that I want to also make sure that I add my invisible ones in there so my invisible one and we also have another one here so as we know with this first group we're going to distribute positive 5 times positive 4 n and positive 5 times negative 12 and over here we're going to be distributing in the second group a negative 1 times positive 6 and a negative 1 times negative 1 n so when we go ahead and do that distribution we essentially multiply so 5 times 4 n that's 20 n 5 times negative 12 is negative 60 negative 1 times 6 is negative 6 negative 1 times negative 1 n is positive 1 n and now from here we can go ahead and combine our like terms here are our like terms here the positive 20 n and a positive 1 n which makes positive 21 n and then we also have our negative 60 and our negative 6 when we combine those that makes negative 66 and this ladies and gentlemen will be our final answer for this um, for this problem here for number five now remember that we can also rewrite our final answer um, as negative 66 plus 21 n remember that and we can also stress that this statement here the second statement that one and even this one here are all equivalent expressions okay and that'll wrap up this video